Solve polynomial equations. Question is, solve each of the following equations by factoring. This is a request from my student. It is, this question is on page 204. It is question, question 2 from Nelson book, Advanced Functions, MHF4U, grade 12. Now, as you were suggesting, we can always factor them. But in this factory, we are landing with radicals. So let us see how to solve such equations. So we have 2x cubed plus 162 equals to 0. It says solve each of the following equations by factoring. Let us factor. If you factor 2, you get what? You get x cubed plus 81, right? x cubed plus 81 equals to 0. Now, 81 is not a perfect cube right 3 cube is 27 3 to the power of 4 is 81 remember that 81 is 3 to the power of 4 not cube of any number correct and therefore what we should do at this stage is we have already factored we took a common factor of 2 so we can equate each factor to 0 now 2 cannot be 0 2 is a constant but x cube plus 81 can be equal to 0. So let's solve for x. So we get x cube equals to minus 81 or x is equals to cube root of minus 81. Cube root of negative number is negative, right? So what do we get? You can use your calculator to find this answer. And as you know, 81 is 3 to the power of 4, correct? So we get minus, because cube root of a negative number is going to be negative, minus 3 to the power of 4 over 3, right? So exact value will be minus 3 to the power of 4 over uh, 4 over 3, because 81 is 3 to the power of 4. You get my point? So you can write that as your solution. Use your calculator to find the value. Now, the next one here is, 2x to the power of 4 equals to 48x square. Let's bring the terms to the same side. Remember, you should not be cancelling 2x square from both sides. In that case, you lose one solution, which is x equals to 0, right? So you have to bring them together. x to the power of 4 minus 48x square equals to 0. Now, 2x square is common. Let's factor 2x square out. So we are left with x square minus 24 equals to 0. So here, again, 24 is not a perfect square. So we will equate each factor to 0. The first factor is 2x square. If we equate 2x square to 0, we get x equals to 0. And the second solution is, when you equate x square minus 24 to 0, that gives us two solutions, which is x equals to plus minus square root of 24. The exact value is 24 can be written as 6 times 4, right? Let me let me re rewrite this as 6 times 4, right? 4 is 2, so we can write this as plus minus 2 square root of 6, correct? So that is how you can write square root of 24 in the simplest form. So in this case, we get two solutions, x equals to 0 and rather 3 and plus minus 2 square root 6. So we can write this solution as x equals to 0 and plus minus 2 square root 6. In the first case, we got solutions as x equals to minus 3 to the power of 4 over 3, correct? So that is how you can solve them. I hope that helps. Thank you.